Hello folks, it's Dave here again and today I want to give you a video talking about my pickups for the month of September. Thank you for tuning in as always. So let's get started. All of these bots, three of them this month, all came in one happy exciting weekend in the middle of the month. And uh, the first one I got on a Saturday, this came courtesy of Comics and Cocktails and it is Voyager Class Legacy Trash Master, another junkie on for my collection, which uh, I wasn't a big junkie on fan ever really until I got Studio Series 86 Retcar, who is the reason for my channel name, Dave Rove Has Posable Nipples, and uh, the reason I have become a junkie on collector and gone down that particular rabbit hole. So here's another one, Trash Master, and he is just a lovely, girthy, chunky, big boy. And uh, I really, really, really like him. He um, he isn't as refined as some other recent bots, but he's just lovely. He's just a big chunk. He's just fun to transform, really straightforward transformation. And uh, again, a, a nice, chunky alt mode. My uh, five-year-old son really loves him, particularly in the alt mode, just grabbing him and running him around. And uh, I think I may have to get another one for him because of that. And uh, yeah, he's just lovely. He's, uh, he's fairly clean all the way around. Got some nice sculpted detail all over him. Nice classic junkie on colours. Just, yeah, he was he was what I expected him to be. When I saw him revealed and I got excited because he's a big chunky junkie on and uh, yeah and he's come through and he's he's what I hoped he's awesome so uh, would I recommend him yes I would of course and uh, he's really really cool so that's him and uh, yeah I'll let you know if I pick up another one for my son and then on the Sunday following that from Indie Man Toys this time I got a package containing two more bots very exciting again, first of which is Legacy Deluxe Class Strong Arm. If you know my story, you know that the main reason I got back into collecting as an adult was because I watched Robots in Disguise 2015 with my older son who was a bit younger then of course and uh, really enjoyed the show bought him loads of the toys and they were really fun too, particularly the warrior class and the big three step changes were really fun. And Strong Arm was an absolute favorite standout character from that show for me. And uh, so really excited to get representation of her in the Generations line. And uh, a reuse of the Elita One and Minerva mold, but with some fairly significant remolding, including these shoulders up here and the chest and of course that lovely head sculpt. There has been some criticism of that head sculpt for being on the large side and I think maybe it is just a little bit bigger than ideal but not an awful lot, ma not massively oversized looking at this in person I think it's actually pretty close to about right and it looks really lovely, well sculpted, good colours on that head sculpt really embodies the character fantastic the bot overall is really nice fairly tidy all the way around the alt mode the car is maybe a little bit flat and wider than you would want it to be again not a lot and uh, it does look nice i do like it and uh, she's well articulated the only thing being that the backpack and the shoulder arrangement does hinder the articulation again just a bit um, but you can still get some really good poses with her and yeah I'm not disappointed with her in any way she is a very good version of Strong Arm and I'm really really glad to have this one in my collection and then the other bot I got in that same package was this Voyager Class Legacy Bludgeon and he's really nice a reuse of the Tarn Malt which many of you will own. I don't personally own it but I have handled it so I knew that this was going to be good and he looks really really lovely. I really like his head. 
the silver on the face and then the red eyes they're a slightly different red to the rest of the head so when you get them in the light the eyes do stand out really nicely the chest is lovely with the uh, clear orange plastic then painted over with this orange and the silvers and then he's got the greens and the grey and the orange and the reds all on him so he's sort of a mesh of the colours from his inner and outer robots from his G1 version which is really good I know not everybody's a fan of the way they're uh, meshing up the pretenders and making their inner and outer robots just one regular transforming robot and that's fair enough I understand that criticism but what we've got here is just a really good robot just a really good toy in his own right and uh, for that reason I really like it and uh, again he cleans up really nicely all the way around he just just have a gap in the back of his feet but apart from that really good and he has this lovely looking sword that might be one of my uh, favorite accessories in recent memory that looks really cool and the alt mode is quite a nice looking Cybertronian tank maybe not my favorite alt mode of all time but it does look good I do like it uh, does just have visible hands on the back which is not great but okay and uh, the only other slight issue I've had with him is when transforming him a few tolerance issues on a couple of the transforming hinges just very tight which made just a little bit frustrating in the transformation at points um, but that's more a QC issue than to do with the design and it is actually a very good transformation in spite of that so I like him a lot and that then guys is all my pickups for the month of September thank you for watching as always and uh, do put a comment down below and let me know if you've got any of these bots what do you think of them and uh, if you don't have them are you planning to get them are you excited for them do let me know in the comments down below and I'll be making some more reviews to put out there for you soon guys so I will see you again next week all right take care now guys bye bye